damn, what a mess. This was the last TV station on Earth. See if anything works. Think it was the Flood? Or the aliens? Maybe both. Does it matter? Hey, think I found something. What is it? Looks like an ancient digital drive from the 2030s. This just might play. Ah, what the bloody hell is going on? Get this on air now while we still can. We interrupt our regular programming for this special news report. Here is our international correspondent, Rachel Turner. Eve was one of the world's best pilots, but as strong forces pushed for the complete militarization of space, she resigned in protest. By 2030, the full confluence of AI and robotics resulted in hundreds of millions losing their jobs. Office and factory workers and truck drivers were the first to go. The affluent and powerful reaped the benefits. AI endowed robotic pets proved popular, as did lifelike adult companions. Pushed by rich investors, there was a manic competition between multiple corporations and countries to drill the Arctic and Antarctica for oil and gas. The drastically rising temperatures and heavy pollution completely changed weather patterns. Doomsday cults flourished. Authoritarian leaders seized power. Armed groups sought control. Some people stuck to their alternate pleasure pursuits. The rich got much richer and more powerful. A lot more abandoned children lived in garbage dumps as families starved on the streets. In the cities, Eve and many, many, many others protested and fought worldwide against the oil companies and politicians who profited from the devastating eco-disaster happening. Many protests were brutally put down. In some countries, they tortured and raped and killed protesters to suppress dissent. Drought. In some areas, everything just dried up. Millions of migrants abandoned large areas of the Southern Hemisphere that no longer had water and tried desperately to go north. Monsoons, tornadoes, hurricanes, wildfires and flooding devastated parts of whole countries. Earthquake after earthquake. But the sudden collapse of Antarctica's sheet ice in 2035 was the game changer. It raised sea levels 20 to 50 feet, projected to go over 200 feet worldwide. The economy and then world governments collapsed. But hundreds of feet below the surface, teams of independent scientists, engineers and astronauts were working. They prepared experimental spacecraft in multiple locations with newly developed propulsion systems. Each ship had a complete collection of human, animal, insect and plant DNA. Sustainable agronomy was vital. Very tight human armed security. Robotic killer dogs roamed. If successfully launched, one or more of the ships might reach a habitable planet in a few hundred years. Breeding couples were genetically selected for the optimal reproductive outcomes. Each ship included doctors, teachers, artists, athletes and musicians. They had hope and determination. Their best pilot Eve was cloned several times in order to guide multiple ships. None of them came back. But something else did. <laughs>